Hi, welcome to my home. My name is Kathy, and today I'm going to give an update tour on my pantry. If you watched the last video, um, you remember that my pantry was, uh, my working pantry was um, shelves in, in uh, what was the, a, a coat closet, and we had an area um, that used to be the dining room for our house, um, that was no longer being used as a dining room because there was an addition um, several years ago. It wasn't when we lived here, it was with the prior owners um, and the dining room was moved to a different area. Um, so we had a space that um, I was using as my desk area, um, but we moved that and we turned that into my pantry. So today I'm going to give you a tour of how I built out the inside of that and what we've been doing. Um, so let's get started. The area that you're seeing now, that was just an open area. We added doors there and that goes out into the area which is the dining room. And this area was the old dining room and we built out the walls and we turned that into my new working pantry. So I still have a little bit of work to do. I need to paint the trim. I need to finish putting the window clings on the windows. But as you can see, I've added some frost stained glass window film to the windows to kind of mask what's in there. As you can see, I still have more work to do. I had run out and I needed to order some more. But let's go inside. So this is my pantry. I ordered these metal shelves. The shelves are five shelves high. I ordered three so that I'd have extra shelves. And they are 18 inches deep. Um, just because of the space that I have in here, I wasn't going to be able to do the 24 inches. I believe they're four feet wide by 18 inches deep and what I did is since I had an extra shelf um, we cut one of the shelves and we um, extended one of the shelves up higher the units up higher so it had extra shelves so as we can start in here we'll start at the bottom I have just a little couple of plastic drawer things that I've, I put some little miscellaneous things in. And then on top of that I have three little bins for potatoes and onions and I have uh, I think some ginger and some lemons in the, the top one. And then this rack over here is mostly my canned goods. So at the bottom I have some rotator um, shelves. Those make it really easy to be able to do you know first in first out. And then the next shelf up, I have some canned beef, turkey, pork, potatoes. From that, I have some turkey stock, some um, store-bought spaghetti sauce, some chicken. Um, and over here, I just have some you know, soups and macaroni and cheese. And then the next shelf up, I have my pint-sized meats. I have hamburger, beef, so there's some beef stew in there, ham, chicken, pork, turkey, and then I have, so I have ham stock, shrimp stock, beef stock, some turkey stock and chicken stock, and then I have some bell peppers and ketchup and tomatoes, um, and then I have some pickles and some jams up on this shelf some relish and then some empty space here um, then going higher some ketchup mustard mayonnaise salsa some jello um, some boxed pasta and then just some miscellaneous baked stuff and then up higher you see that um, I have these plastic bins up here once for spices or two of them actually for spices I have some dried fruit baking supplies. And then at the top I have um, some paper towels. 
And then on this next shelf, on the top shelf, I have some cereals and some pancake mix, oatmeal. Um, there's some chips and there's um, some bulk spices in the back there. And then on this next shelf, I have some of my dehydrated items, some dehydrated vegetables and some tomatoes, eggplant. Um, some of those, I'm the stir-fry vegetables and those tomatoes. And then I think I have some, there's some peas and carrots. Um, a lot of these I dehydrated in my dehydrating video, so I'll put a link to that up above. And then I have some more um, things back here. There's this, some zucchini that I had dehydrated with you guys. And then I have some dehydrated marshmallows. This shelf is mostly baking items, so I have some flours, um, sugar, salt, brown sugar. Then the next one down, back in the corner area, I have au jus and some different different gravy mixes. Then I have some pastas and rice. Um, I have my apple cider vinegar. And then some snacky things, some peanuts and some peanut butter pretzels. And then on this next shelf down here, a box of chips, uh, the plastic containers with some chips, crackers, and then the very back corner I got some popcorn. And then down below, um, I did decide to go with the buckets instead of um, the, the stacking bins, just because we don't have a lot of space. And these buckets do have the gamma lids on them. I have one with one with flour, one with wheat, berries, and another one that has, I believe, packages of either sugar or salt. Um, and then I have some vinegars. Got some vinegar back there. A bag full of bags. And then some um, ramen noodles. And then over here, I put in this, it's a stacking little shelf. And these have drawers that pull out. So in one drawer I have um, like packaged seasonings and um, gravy mixes. And this one I have um, extra spices. And then the next one down there's more spices. And then the bottom two have my containers of these little containers of um, sour cream and powdered cheeses. There's some powdered milk, powdered cream, powdered sour cream. Um, and those types of things. So that is my pantry. Soon I want to do a video of either spaghetti sauce or bouillonnaise sauce. Um, so let me know which you would prefer to see because I'd like to fill the rest of these the shelves with canned goods because as you can see I do have some empty spaces. So I want to get those filled so let me know in the comments which video you'd like to see, and I'll um, be sure to bring you along with me. Well, as you can see, I have a little bit more stocking to do, but it's in pretty good shape, I think. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new pantry. Well, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified each time I put out a new video. Well, until next time, I hope you have an amazing day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.